Hi, welcome to Dreamweb tutorial. Today, I would like to show you how to make very simple navigation horizontally and vertically from the scratch. Now, on your welcome panel, to select more, start a page here, and I would like to use a classic header, content, footer layout here. And on your CSS layout, to select create a new file here, and just say create. And automatically, it will prompt me to save this CSS file. Just say save. OK. So this is just temporary starter page here. And before we do anything, we save this first. Call it demo. Save. And also, I would like to get rid of all the markup text here so you can see better. OK. Let's take a look at how this is structured. The first of all, you have a very big box outside which is, is your container. And inside the container, there is three div tag. The first one is header, and the second one is content, and the third one is footer. So now we have a basic structure here. And usually, the navigation bar will sit right underneath the header. So on your code view, I want you to find at the end of the header and just Hit Enter, create some space, and on your layout, select Navigation. Uh, this is an HTML5 tag. Uh, if you are Creative Cloud member, Adobe will update you this newer version of a HTML5 tag. So if you're still using a CD version, you'll probably see a different uh, icon. And you probably cannot find navigation here. So just using a regular div tag will be OK. So just click OK here. So it, instead of create a div tag, it create a navigation nav tag here for me. OK. So now I want you to highlight, deselect, and highlight again the text here and go to your unordered list. So if you are using an older version, you probably will find your unordered list under the text. OK. Click. And then you automatically, you see the code view automatically create an order list for me. Enter a pound sign on your property panel, create a link. Also, we want to change this to link. Then I want you to highlight this link and copy and hit enter, paste, and enter, paste, paste. I would like to create four links here. So once you have a page set up, you can just pick with to your page and then just link. So now we have to start it. Put your cursor anywhere inside the link and just click on your CSS style panel and select this on the bottom and just plus sign. Click on plus sign here and just say OK. That's what we want to do. A. And on the type, I want to do Georgia and 16 pixel and I want to do italic and the color I would like to do light green and text decoration none now go to your background and background we're going to be using a dark gray and on the block the third category and text alignment I want to do center and display block the reason do block, if you do apply, you see automatic take this block like. And on the box, I want you to do 25% and flow to the left because I have a four lengths and then the whole width is 100%, right? So divide to four, so it's 25%. And just click apply. And you will see there's a bullet point here. And don't worry, this is, we have to define our on order list in order to get rid of this. All right, so it's pretty good. Just say OK. And I want you to hit the plus sign again. Now this time, I will want to get rid of the bullet point. So get rid of A and LI. Just leave UL and then say OK. And go to your list and list style. Select none and apply. See what happened. So it went away. So now, next step, we want to do rollover effect. Put the cursor there again on your star panel. Create a new star rule again. Now, this time, you have to add 
column hover or lowercase and say okay now this time the text color I want to do dark gray and background I want to light green so it's kind of reverse because it's a pseudo class it really cannot see the effect until you hit live view see design view that's how you do horizontal navigation bar now I want to show you how to change to vertically just go to on all the list to change this one to 30 percent and then flow to the left apply to this 30 percent over here and then on your link a here the box is going to change to 100 percent and say okay here we go and also you can give you a little bit margin on the at the bottom so make it looks like divider here okay okay that's it i hope you enjoy this section see you next time